on a little island in American Samoa called Ofu, we found that the back reef pools are washed by warm water every day at low tide. The corals in those back reef pools are some of the strongest corals we've ever tested. I need a cooler. The cooler has to have chillers in it to cool the water off, and it has to have heaters. We use an aquarium heater to just heat the water up. We need a small pump to move the water around, some light, because the corals need light in order to photosynthesize. So we get a couple of floodlights. They go right inside, and there we go. We have a coral stress tank. They're designed for use in remote places, so we can stress corals just about anywhere and get the same kind of information. Now right here I have four of them, but I could do it with just one. The idea is to get them set up, fill them with fresh seawater, heaters, chillers, pumps, lights, it creates an environment that mimics the reef when it heats up. And by mimicking the reef when it heats up, we can tell whether the corals themselves are responding really negatively to it and, and dying, or whether or not that particular coral that we put in that tank is strong and resilient to that particular stress. The last piece of equipment is this netbook that controls the temperature of the tanks. And this is the temperature for tank one, two, three, and four. If we want to change that temperature, we just put it in different ones. The machine will update the temperature for each tank. These tanks have corals in them that we got off the reef this morning. By this afternoon, this one is alive, but this one's dead. So what's the difference? These two tanks are the same. They heat up water exactly the same way. The coral species in them are the same. The only difference is that we got these corals from one part of the reef and we got these corals from a different part of the reef. Now, these are alive, those are dead. So it's telling us that these resist that hot water more than those do. We can't protect every reef from everything, but what the stress tank does is it lets us know which corals are resistant to the really hot water that happens during a bleaching event. By knowing where on a reef those corals are, we can decide which part of the reef to protect. Now the real hope for the stress tanks is to take them elsewhere in the Pacific and find other corals that are just as strong as the ones we found here in American Samoa.